Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. In July this year, TV3 Mission broadcast a news item on talented Jonah Alumvala, who was in dire need of support to undergo medical care. Well, four months after this report, aid has come to Jonah, the Focus Orthopedic Hospital in Pantan, with support of some philanthropists, have supported Jonah to undergo his first medical surgery. Today, mission is at Suswaho RC Primary and Kindergarten School of the Ahafo region. We're here to meet a special boy who, despite his disability, has braved the odds to join his colleagues in class. Well, he needs a little support to become someone in future. Yes, I was born like this. Before um, I was sent to school, people, everybody who will see me just look at me. That time, uh, I won't come out to go with them or play with children, just like that. So I was at home every time doing artwork and modeling and money chains. When TV3 Mission first met Jonah, he was writing his end of term examinations at the Suswaho RC Basic School at Duya in the Ahafu region. Despite his disability, which prevented him from using his hands effectively, he topped his class and drew perfectly. Four months after the reportage, the Focus Orthopedic Hospital at Pantan, together with some philanthropists, came to the aid of Jonah. Professor Ohineba Bwacheje is the president and founder of the Foundation of Orthopedics and Complex Spine, Focus. Our mission basically is to help people regain their ability to function. Uh, so as a non-profit organization, we depend heavily on philanthropic support donors from Ghana and from the uh, outside the country. And uh, Jonah basically is one of those patients who is on, it's not going to be able to afford the multiple surgeries that is required to improve his condition. So he falls uh, basically under our mission of compassion. If we say we're doing the surgery for free, it does basically means that somebody is helping us provide him free care. He gets it for free, but someone is helping. It's Thursday, October 31, and Jonah is about to undergo surgery. Good morning, and how are you feeling? Good. What's your expectation today? To have a surgery. They said that he will do the uh, new first. After surgery, we, I will always come to the physio to train me so that I will be well early to go and do anything good. The doctors said they will first work on his legs. After three months, they work on his hands. A few months ago, TV3 Mission brought to you a news item on Jonah. While well, today he's undergoing surgery at the Focus Orthopedic Hospital and he's hopeful that his quality of life will improve after the surgery. After hours, the surgery is over and Jonah will now have to wait to recover and undergo further surgeries. His condition is a uh, very rare disorder. We're not going to make him perfect, and it's going to take about 18 months to two years to be able to get him to get all the surgeries done. So the first plan is to uh, do corrective osteotomy, which is cutting the bone 
a section of it to realign the bone so that the knee can be straighter. And then also do an arthrodesis, fuse the, break some of the bones in his ankle and foot and reset it so that it could be put flat on the ground. After three months, we'll come back and then uh, we'll work on the upper extremity on the same side together, the elbow a little bit bent and also to realign the wrist in terms of the position that, that it is in right now. His wrist is in this position. The goal is to bring it up a little bit more like this and then also to bend the elbow so at least he can get his hand to the mouth. And if we can if we can achieve that, that would be a huge improvement in terms of his function and ability to even feed himself. Jonah and his father were grateful. I would thank the man who is um, supporting this and the TV3 to, for having time for me every time and also the doctors too. And Focus Orthopedic Hospital, I will thank them too for anything they are doing for me. My teachers, especially the headmaster and the others. TV3 are number one. Pa Bada woman say, say, we are seeing in a TV trainer and my papa woman. First, thanks goes to TV3, the teachers, as well as doctors and staff of full course. For you now, woman, woman, next one, woman, Tiani, I share, Tambia, Nijian Kwa. TV3 mission will certainly follow up on Jonah's progress until his final surgery. Porsche Gabo, TV3 News, Accra. Let's now go to the Bono region and construction of a multi-purpose kindergarten block for the Kofi Sua School in the Doma Central Municipality is progressing steadily. And this was after TV3 Mission reported on the congested nature of a makeshift structure serving pupils. Parents at Kofi Eswa prioritized education of the awards in the early 90s after government provided a pavilion to shelter pupils in only three classes. No additional structure has since been provided. The school can now boast of a befitting office and classroom blocks for the primary pupils as a result of parents' communal labor and monthly financial contributions. However, Kindergarten pupils were taught in a makeshift structure, a situation that led to the conversion of the school's library into a classroom as a short-term measure. After TV3's reportage about the discomforting situation, the Doma Central Municipal Assembly began the construction of a multi-purpose classroom block, which has progressed steadily. Municipal Chief Executive Officer for Doma Central, Drisa Watara is optimistic adequate funds will help address the educational infrastructure deficit in the municipality. Head teacher of the school, Andrews Kofi Arthur, is confident the project would impact positively on academic work. Looking at the way the thing is going fast, it's a good job. Because this will even help increase our enrollment. Because if we look at the nature of the building, it's a modern type of uh, building is, is, is good. Mm. What does it for Mission? Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks so much for your time.